Imagine turning a rundown property into a gold mine, making six figures profit in just a few months. That's the magic of house flipping. Welcome back to the channel where I help you turn your real estate dreams into reality. Today, we're diving into the ultimate renovation guide for house flipping, showing you how to maximize your return on investment. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more expert advice. Flipping houses can be incredibly rewarding, but it's not without its challenges. One of the biggest hurdles is sticking to your budget. It's easy to underestimate costs or encounter unexpected expenses that throw off your budget. To overcome this, create a detailed budget from the start and include a 10 to 15% buffer for unexpected costs. Track every expense meticulously and prioritize high ROI improvements to ensure you stay within budget. Next, let's talk about unexpected repairs. Even with a thorough inspection, some issues only become apparent once you start your renovations. These can include hidden water damage, electrical problems, or structural issues that can significantly increase your costs. Always get a comprehensive home inspection before purchasing and budget for contingencies. Having a reliable contractor who can provide realistic estimates and solutions quickly is crucial. Market fluctuations are another major challenge. Real estate markets can be unpredictable, affecting your selling price and timeline. A sudden market downturn can reduce your potential profit or even result in a loss if you need to sell quickly. To mitigate this risk, research the market thoroughly before buying. Look at trends, economic indicators, and local developments. If possible, have a flexible timeline so you can wait for the market to improve if necessary. By understanding and preparing for these challenges, you can navigate the house flipping process more effectively and increase your chances of a successful flip. Now let's dive into how to maximize your ROI. When it comes to house flipping, location is everything. Look for homes in up and coming neighborhoods or the worst house on a great neighborhood. Focus on homes that need cosmetic upgrades rather than major structural repairs. Cosmetic upgrades like new painting, flooring, fixtures are less expensive and quicker to complete. Structural repairs can be costly and time consuming, eating at your profits and delaying your project. Although it calls for it, don't be afraid to remove a load bearing wall. Budgeting is a critical aspect of any successful flip. Start by creating a detailed budget that includes the purchase price, renovation costs, holding costs like utilities, property taxes, and insurance, and selling costs like agent commissions and closing fees. Always add a 10 to 15% buffer for unexpected expenses. It's not uncommon to uncover issues once you start renovations, such as plumbing problems, electrical issues, or even mold. Conduct a cost-benefit analysis for each renovation. Ask yourself if the improvement will add value to the home and if it aligns with the market expectations. Prioritize high ROI improvements and keep watching and I'll explain what those are. Hiring a reliable contractor is essential. Get multiple quotes, check references, and look at their previous work. A good contractor can keep your project on schedule and within budget, while a bad one can derail your entire flip. Ensure you have all the necessary permits before starting any work. Failing to get the proper permits can result in fines and delays. Be aware of local regulations and codes to avoid any legal issues. Focus on high ROI improvements like kitchens and bathrooms. These are the areas buyers most often look at first. Updating these spaces can significantly increase the value of your home. Consider modern finishes, energy efficient appliances, and functional layouts. Don't underestimate the power of curb appeal. First impressions matter. 
simple landscaping, a fresh coat of paint on the front door, and clean, well-maintained exterior can attract more buyers and potentially higher offers. Keep an eye on local market trends to time your sale perfectly. Selling during a seller's market can help you get top dollar for your property. Conversely, selling in a buyer's market means you need to be more competitive with your pricing. Here's a perfect example of what I've been talking about. This home was the ugliest house in the neighborhood. It was a hoarder house. It actually was purchased for 1.2. The after repair value is hopefully around 1.7, probably 150 to 175 in rehab of, uh, going into this property. Um, it was literally, and if you check out my other YouTube videos, you'll see what it looked like originally. We're about, I think it's week three on this property. They just finished putting all the drywall around. Uh, they had taken uh, a wall out here right behind me. Um, but anyways, uh, that's what they're doing now, putting the drywall and uh, come back and uh, sand it down and put some tech texture tomorrow. Let's go over here into the kitchen area. And the kitchen, uh, it used to be a, a full wall here and that was reduced. Uh, the stove's gonna be relocated over here. And then we have the sink and the refrigerator over on this side. And then we have a little kind of dining room nook, as I call it. As we come around here, we go into what I would call a family room. Um, that's the living room over on the other end. It's a sunken living room. This is the dining room in this area. And um, right here, there's going to be to my left, to my right now, is going to be a wet bar right there. And this bedroom, this home has four bedrooms. So we've got uh, one, two, three, like really right next to each other. And then there's a guest bathroom right around the corner here. And then we have washer and dryer and a three car garage. And then as we go to the left here, uh, we go into the primary bedroom. So this is your primary bedroom. And then we have a large uh, bathroom. So we got uh, vanity on this side, kind of his and hers. Another vanity here. And <clears throat> excuse me, an actual walk-in closet in here. Uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, this used to be uh, just one single corner shower there. They've decided to expand it out and they're gonna put uh, all sorts of things. I think it's gonna be a steam shower as well. So um, they decided to expand it out to what you see now. Um, there used to be a large window there and then they put uh, a smaller window there. So as you're taking a shower, obviously people can't see in. And then you have the toilet area back here with its privacy door. So um, this again, this is about the third week into the process. It took them about a week to get all the stuff out of here. Uh, they've been outside uh, trimming trees, removing trees. There's also some landscaping going on on, on the other side here. Um, you, you can't see much of it through here, but uh, there was a reta retaining wall that was not very good and they're fixing that. Um, so like I said, they're spending about 175,000 at the end of the day on this rehab. There were 30 offers on this property and uh, my son-in-law got it and he wasn't the highest offer, but he was the highest cash offer. And so they accepted his offer. To wrap up, remember that successful house flipping hinges on thorough research, smart budgeting, strategic renovations, and understanding the market. By following these guidelines, you can maximize your ROI and turn a profit faster than you ever thought possible. If you found this video helpful, check out my other videos. If you found this video helpful, check out my other videos on real estate investing for more tips and strategies. Share your house flipping experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more expert advice on maximizing your real estate profits.